Yo, Brett Parker here, Handicap Scratch. Thought I'd give you a quick 2016 what's in the bag, what I've got, why I've got it, and uh, anything I'm looking to change in the future months. So uh, we'll get straight into the uh, what's in the bag with the driver. I've got the Ping G30 LS Tech. Originally I had the SF Tech, didn't really feel like I needed the SF Tech anymore, so I've changed it out for the LS. 10.5 head, taken down two notches, so I think I put it at about 9.5, 9.8, something like that. In the shaft, I've got the Ping Stiff Shaft, the standard ones that they provide. And in the grips, I've got the Golf Pride Reduced Taper Grips. Yeah. Moving on. Five wood. I've got the Ping G30 five wood, 18 degrees, standard, no loft changes, and the standard Ping shaft that they supply. I've got this one in a regular, I'm not sure why I've got it in the regular, but it seems to work for me, it's probably my favourite club in the bag. I can hit it off the deck, it's reliable off the tee, and again I've got the Golf Pride Reduced Taper Grips. Moving through, 3-iron hybrid, got the Titleist H1, 21 degrees, no alterations, and in the Adela Rogue Stiff Shaft. Golf Pride Reduced Taper again. I did have a 3 iron blade, didn't really feel like it was consistent enough. This offers me a lot of forgiveness, it helps me out of rough and things like that. It's beautiful to hit off the tee. The only thing I would like my 3 iron blade for is for those windy days when it's difficult to control. I find it very, very difficult or almost impossible to hit this down. But it's useful for the majority of the time. Irons, I've recently changed from the Nike Vapor Pros. I originally had the, the straight blades, very, very difficult to hit consistently, especially with a handicapped golfer. You really do need to be able to hit it out the centre consistently. I thought I'd change to something with a bit more forgiveness. So the Titleist AP2s were the ones that won. Got tested for lots, so got tested for the RSIs, the PSIs, Mizunos, um, tried lots of different variations. The AP2s were the ones that came back as the winners. Got them in the 716s, AP2s, KBS Extra Stiff Tor Shaft. And this time I've gone for the Golf Pride mid-sized grips. I like a slightly thicker grip in my uh, irons. They, they feel a little bit more comfortable. Got that from four to pitching wedge. From there, into my wedges, I've got the Cleveland RTX 588s, the Mark IIs. Um, 10 degrees of bounce and they've got the, the standard dynamic gold true temper wedge shafts in. Again, I'm back with the Golf Pride reduced taper grips. Yeah, very trusty. Um, I would like to change my wedges once a year, but there's no real reason to change these at the minute. They're all in fairly good condition. If I was going to change them, I'd probably change them for the same, same wedges. I've got them in 52, 56 and 60. Final club in the bag and the most recent change. I've got the Nike Method Origin B201. It's the one that currently Rory's just put in his bag. The standard Nike Origin uh, grip and obviously standard shaft for the putter. I've had this in my bag for about one round now, so I, I can't, can't put too many comments on it, but a review will be coming, and an amateur review will be coming of this. I do like it at the minute. It seems to roll off the face a lot better than what I had. What I did have was the Ping Scottsdale TR. Alright, it's done me well. I've had it for about a year, just over a year or so. Nothing really wrong with it. It just doesn't seem to come off the face and roll as true as the Scottsdale or the Bettinardis or the Nike methods that are out there in the world. It just doesn't seem to roll as true and doesn't seem as nice off the face. It's a little bit ugly to look down on, but it served me well. I had it in the Golf Pride Tour Sensor Grip. Um, they're new this year. I like it. They're not, not quite as big as a Super Stroke, although I believe the sizes do vary. Not quite as big as a Super Stroke, but they're, they're just a little bit bigger than a standard grip. Uh, shoes, I currently use the Under Armour True Temper um, leather shoes. Absolutely brilliant. I'd never really understood what the higher end of the shoe market was for. Now that I've got these, I really understand that, that shoes do play a big, big part in uh, your golf game. Having a stability in the lower half is very, very useful. In accessories, I've got the Bushnell V3 rangefinder. Uh, essential to all amateurs out there. I know the pros can't use them. Some of them can use them in competitions, but uh, for an amateur, absolutely vital. If you're serious about the game, you do need a Bushnell V3. Game golf, 
Uh, very good for statistics, for reviewing rounds, very good for my progression in the channel. See how I've moved on from six months ago, a year ago, 18 months ago. Very, very useful. I've got that in all my clubs. Standard uh, Footjoy golf club. Very, very useful and very trusty. And for balls, I use the Nike Resin Platinum. Never really had a reason to change them. Uh, very useful and very effective. I like them. For the bag, I've got the Nike Golf Cart Bag. Does exactly what it says on the tin. Plenty of pockets, plenty of room. Yeah, it's good. So that's my bag. A um, few things I'm looking to change. I would like to possibly get a three wood in the bag, but I'm not really sure what I'd take out. I'm afraid that I would have to take my five wood out and it's my most reliable club. Reason why I want the three wood. I'm currently getting about 225, 235 out of the five wood. I'd like a little bit more off the tee, really. Something that I know that I could pull out the bag and guarantee to hit a fairway. That's why I'd like the three wood. But I'd also like that five wood in there from hitting off the deck. I know that hitting off the deck, that five wood is going down the middle. So I'd like a three wood, but at this moment in time, not really sure what I'd take out. So that's my bag. May change. As it changes, I'll let you know. Stay tuned for the Nike review of the B201. If you like what the, the, the channel is doing, make sure you hit subscribe. If you want to see anything or uh, anything you want me to, to do or review or anything like that, hit, make sure you put a comment down below. Um, that's it. Make sure you come along for the journey. See you soon.